Hi everyone, Joe Garth here. The environment you're seeing right now was generated procedurally using Rockify. Rockify is a plugin for Blender that lets you instantly generate realistic looking rocks and cliffs for use in real-time games and cinematics. This powerful tool allows you to work at an extraordinary speed and will help you bring your ideas to life. In this video, I'm going to outline some of the features of the plugin and show you how you can use it to create your own environments. So here we are in Blender. On the right, you can see the Rockify panel. And you can see that the plugin comes with five distinctive rock presets. You've got stalactites, stalagmites. These are sort of used for more like caves and stuff like that. Then you have the limestone, granite, and volcanic presets. Before we choose a preset though, we first need to create a basic primitive shape for our rock. Uh, for now, I'm just going to use this sort of uh, cube and I'm going to turn it into more of like a tower shape. So I'm just going to bring that a little bit higher. I'll maybe make it a little bit more complicated by putting in a little edge loop there. A couple of those. Uh, and maybe just scale them in some sort of interesting ways. So maybe something like that. And, you know, this doesn't need to be perfect because we can always go back in and change the shape later um, on in the process and just make sure it's, uh, you know, exactly what we want. So now I've got this sort of tower shape. Uh, I can actually select the preset that I want to use. I'm going to choose uh, Volcanic in this case. And then I'm going to click Generate Rock. And as you can see, it's now created a rock with that sort of basic shape. Um, you can still go in there now and actually change the uh, primitive. You can actually go into the modifier stack here and turn on and off uh, that geometry nodes modifier uh, that's been applied. Um, but before we do that, we can also change some of the settings here. You've got the settings for sort of density of how much of the rock it kind of fills in with. Uh, you've got the settings for the scale. Um, so if you want to have smaller sort of sharper rocks, uh, you can kind of tweak the scale there. Uh, but by default, the, the values are sort of wired so that they look good um, and don't really need much modification. Uh, you can also change the seed if you're just not happy with something or something looks a bit strange. Uh, you can just alter the seed there. Uh, and then, of course, you know, you can change the actual uh, base primitive shape too. So if we actually move the primitive up, you can see it's starting to generate more rock pieces. And for instance, if we would take that primitive shape and we extrude it out a little bit, Let's use the extrude tool. You can now see that we've got actual rock being um, added as we extrude. And, you know, for instance, if we take that corner here and we basically chamfer that corner, you can see what it does. You can see what it does there as well. We've got now a sort of chamfered edge, whereas before we didn't. So once we have a shape like this that we've defined, uh, we can actually use the remeshing function uh, to actually turn this into a manifold mesh because right now you can see there are a few little bugs and glitches around um, and this can't really be used in a game yet because this mesh is made up of lots and lots of smaller pieces so what we can do is we can click remesh rock right here at the bottom and it'll take a bit of time but what that's going to do is it's going to use the voxel modifier and the decimate modifier to then create a a usable game mesh. So if you need a little bit more resolution, you can actually go in there and decrease the uh, voxel size. So I'm going to turn that to 0.2 and you can see that the uh, detail will improve slightly. And really this is just up to you, you know, with your optimization, how much, uh, how many sort of final polygons you'll need, um, depending on whether you're making a cinematic or a game. Uh, you can always look at the triangle count there and uh, t tweak these settings um, to your heart's content and, and get the result that you need. The other thing that we can do is actually try a few of the other different presets. I'm just going to remove the uh, remeshing stuff and uh, we can actually go through uh, all the different presets and see how those look too. So if I switch the preset to granite and hit generate rock, you can now see we've got a completely different uh, granite shape. And if I hit remesh on that, 
you can now see that we've got a slightly different look. So now you can see we've got a completely different look uh, just by changing the preset. Uh, I'm going to go and uh, change it to limestone. Limestone's got quite a unique look. It's got lots of shelves to it. Um, and yeah, when we hit remesh. So you can see how that sort of comes together to make something that looks a little bit more organic. And finally, we've also got the uh, stalagmites, which are sort of more for caves, um, where, you know, the bottom of the cave would have some of these kind of uh, projections coming from the bottom. So you can choose stalagmites, or you can actually choose stalactites, which would be from the ceiling. And those are really good for, you know, generating, you know, caves and cave systems. Hi everyone, I really hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it inspires you to try out Rockify and make some creations of your own. If you want to get updates on Rockify, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the little subscribe uh, button below and you'll get notifications every time a new video comes out about, you know, new features, that sort of thing. All right, I think that's everything from my side. I wish you the best of luck with your own creations and enjoy using Rockify. Cheers.